Okay, so in this video we're going to practice drawing a few circuits and we've been given some requirements. So here I want to draw a circuit with the light that is always on and a switch that turns on lights Y and Z. So basically I always start with the battery and typically what I do is I just draw the two positive and negative terminals because for the most part you're just going to be connecting these terminals and putting things on them. And you usually want to not put anything on these lines ideally. Um, the accepting, be, exception being a switch that controls everything you might put on there. So here I want a light that's always on. So all I have to do to accomplish that is put a light between these terminals and as long as there are no switches between the battery and this light, this light will always remain on. So there's light X um, because I'm, the electricity is going to travel from the positive to the negative and there's nothing that can interrupt it. Um, so then I want a switch that turns on lights Y and Z. All right. So again, I suggest doing this on the vertical. So there's my switch and then lights Y and Z, and I want them that if one burns out, the other stays on. So that means they have to be in parallel. So I'm just going to put these bulbs in parallel here and here. So that way if Y goes out, Z will stay lit. It's on a separate line. And so this will work. And then I don't need this. I just drew that extra. So this is the full circuit diagram. So A will control Y and Z, and X will always stay on. Okay, so now I have one with a single pole double throw switch, which is another way of saying like a three-way switch. And in one position, X is on and the other Y and Z are on. So again, I'm going to draw my battery. And I have the two terminals. And so here is my switch. So here's sort of the point where it comes in. So this is one of the prongs, this point. And here are the other prongs. So it's going to switch between these two points. So the three prong switch, the idea is it can go from being in the left position or the right position, but not both. So in one position, X is lit up. So I'll just choose this and put bulb X here. So if this switches to the left, then bulb X will light. And in the other position, Y and Z are lit up. So here, and again, I want them in parallel so that one won't affect the other. So there's Y, there's Z. And there we go. And that covers everything. Oh, and another switch can turn off all the lights. So the way I'll just do that is I'll add a switch here at the beginning. And that can affect everything. So it'll shut the power off if need be. So anyway, that uh, that's about it. And I should probably erase this just to... There we go. So there's switch B. And that's it. So if this is to the left, then and the switch is down, it'll go through and light up bulb X. If B is down and it's to the right, it'll light up Y and Z. And that's how you draw uh, circuit diagrams. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.